Captain Chris Myers here at Central Florida Sight Fishing Charters. And I'm often asked if I could tell people what kind of things they should get to stock up their tackle box if you're looking to do saltwater flats fishing. So what I thought I'd do today is to show you what I carry in my tackle box in my boat every day. Um, I don't really carry a tackle box. What you can see I have here is just a laundry detergent pail. It's a, it's a square uh, plastic pail. And inside it I have a bunch of plastic boxes. So these are usually what you find in your tackle box. I find this thing is cheap and it's durable and if any water should get in the hatch in the bottom of that hatch it doesn't soak into my tackle box. And I usually just leave all my stuff in the boat and I have one box I'm going to show you that I take on other people's boats. I carry the same stuff all year round and in the summertime I might add a couple other boxes always you're going to find my favorite box which is my box of shrimp so in here I have various colors I have my watermelon holographic which you hear me talk about a lot of times I have gold and glow I have some brown with a glow tail and I also have some clear ones looks like a, a real shrimp and my favorite snook and tarpon one which is the holographic so you'll find these these are the quarter ounce doa shrimp i carry these all year round i catch all kinds of fish on these things you'll never find me out on the water without these in a box this next box is something i use all the time on charters and something you're going to want to have if you're targeting redfish and trout and that's a box of uh, jerk baits. These are 5.5 inch DOA cal baits. And you can see the colors that I have are generally dark colors, except for these holographics. I have these which look like a mullet. This is a stark naked color. I have some silver mullets, which are black and silver. These are green and silver. These are kind of brown as you can see. Those are generally the colors that I use um, and I'm always rigging those on a 4-0 weighted worm hook. You can see that this hook has a weight on it. I want that weight so that this I can get a lot of distance if I need to and that bait will sink down quickly. These lures have a little slot in their back so that the hook lays right in that slot and what you use these for is when you're fishing and you need to be weedless. These are a completely weedless bait. The 5.5 inches I generally use in the summer and the fall and not so much in the winter because in the winter time I will get out my box of 4 inch jerk baits. These are the same uh, baits. Here's a Arkansas Glow. Here's that same Stark Naked. We have some gold ones. We have the same silver mullet and here we have the brown and gold again. You can see I'm rigging these on that same worm hook. This is a 2-0 worm hook, the same weighted with the 1 8 ounce. Also in this box I have a couple of spinner baits. You find these come in quite handy if you need to cover a lot of water, especially if the water is dirty. Now this one happens to have a copper blade. Here's another one that has a, a gold blade. And they have a jig head on them. They're similar to the ones you use for bass, but instead of a skirt, we generally put a soft plastic three inch tail on them. So that's, that's my uh, next box. I always have those boxes and I use those quite frequently on charters because clients can keep those things out of the weeds easily. The next box is something I use all summer and fall. It's my box of bait busters. They're all shallow running bait busters in this box. And I like this uh, green back with the red chin. And I use a lot of the uh, gold ones. Those are the two I use the most. Generally most of these in this box are that color. But these things I'm running right along the surface. And I catch redfish and trout on them all summer and fall. And it's great top water action. The next box, a little three inch cal paddle tails. 
almost always when I'm fishing them, I rig them on jig heads. So you're going to want to have some jig heads, some quarter ounce, some eighth ounce, and maybe even some little tiny ones like this, some sixteenth ounce, if you're fishing super, super shallow. Again, they're generally all the same color. I have the silver mullet, which is a green with the silver holographic back. Here you see that stark naked, it looks like a little mullet again. Here's that same brown color on the little tiny jig head. Some more shades of green. And in here we have the holographic and the new bloodworm color as well. These things are deadly on redfish and trout. I use them myself all the time. Now they cast a long way. They're great to use when it's windy. They're great to bounce over and across sand holes or sandy areas. If you're fishing them in the grass, they're great for sight fishing, but you have to learn to keep them out of the grass if you're going to rig them with an exposed hook. You can also, if you wanted to, rig these up on the same worm hook that I was showing before, have that hook along the back and get a totally weedless setup, but you're not going to get quite as good of a hookup percentage when that hook is as you are when the hook is exposed. So learn to keep it out of the grass, watch some of my casting videos, it'll help you with that and you'll be able to use these things with an exposed hook on the jig head. Your hookups will be much, much higher. The final box you find in here is what I've used for big redfish, tarpon, and if there's any snook around. This is the only thing that I use that has a treble hook on it. This is the DOA. BFL, this is the 5.5. Uh, I use these with good success on the large redfish when they won't eat a lot of other lures. I also have one of the big boys in here, which you can use on big redfish and you can use on tarpon. Caught some mighty big snook on this lure. Big trout will try to eat this thing. I always have one of those in. They're really not that effective in the grass, but if I'm fishing in deeper water where the big fish are, you know, I want to have that. So I always carry that box along with me because I never know when I might run into a school of big fish. The last two things that I carry with me, I always have some of these DOA Deadly Combos. It's the noise making cork and on the end of it I tie a quarter ounce shrimp of any color. I could not tell you how many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of trout that I've unhooked from this. It's great for ladyfish, jacks, and even some redfish. But if you want to be catching trout, this is the lure to have. It's easy, anybody can use it, and I always have a few of these on my boat. I also have an Aqua Dreams pinfish spoon on here. You can see that this thing looks exactly like a pinfish, and it actually has a photo of a pinfish printed on the metal. It's not a sticker, it doesn't come off. These things are are for sight fishing, or you can use them to cover a lot of water, but you do generally have to work them pretty slow. But when those redfish are eat, eating pinfish, the redfish and the trout will certainly eat this food. So that's what I carry in my boat every day. Now if I should get on somebody else's boat, I can make one box, and this will be more than I ever need, all in one box. And once in a while I have to restock it. But you'll see when you open this box, it's going to be everything we just talked about. It's going to have my shallow running bait busters, I have my three inches inch cows with the paddle tail, I have my DOA shrimp of various colors, I have some extra weighted worm hooks, I have in here a couple of chug heads which go on the uh, cows, which I didn't show you that those you can put on these 5.5 inch cows and make a weedless top water just like that so in that box of worms that I had open I do have some of these heads you can put them on any color any size worm you don't use a weighted worm hook you chug this along the surface because it has a cupped face have some of those and in that box I forgot to show you that I always carry for the winter time a couple of these crabs so this box I could use year round. I have baits that I could use in the summer. I have the winter time baits which is my crab for the redfish and the drum. Here I have more colors of shrimp. And just in case I were to run across some tarpon, I carry a few terrorize 
which is something I use a lot for tarpon and sometimes for snook bouncing them in the inlet I don't generally use them on the shallow flats I generally use a 3 inch with a jig head and not this but I always carry a few and I also got a couple of the tiny terror eyes which are great for a small tarpon have me some extra jig heads in here some extra terrorize eyes a couple of Woody's rattles that I put in my soft plastic baits so I stick this into those worms and if you're wondering watch my video on how to rig up soft plastics but I always have a couple of these and this one box I could fish year round on somebody else's boat and this is all I need to take with me so I don't have to be lugging a lot of stuff and, and cluttering up other people's boats all this stuff is the same stuff I had in here. So if you're wondering, you know, what does a guide use out there in the flats of Mosquito Lagoon, the Indian River, and places in Florida, those are the products I use. Anywhere in Florida you can find these DOA lures. If you're around the Orlando area, they have this stuff up at Mosquito Creek Outdoors in Apopka. They have a great selection. If they don't have something you want, they can certainly get it for you. Any bait shop in Florida carries it. They have them at Walmarts and uh, sports authorities and if you can't find it you can always go to the DOA website and they have all these colors and shapes and sizes and everything you're looking for so that's when I'm out flat fishing if you have any other questions be sure to contact me you can check out my website at floridafishinglessons.com or watch my other videos and if you have a question send me an email